Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Ludwig, where things are getting off to a Ludwigious start. Well, I mean, you know, we're just kind of, we're kind of churning around. We're having a good time. The ch 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 churn, churn, ch churn. Um, I just wanted to add to the churn counter. Bring back the churn counter, baby. Um, yeah, I mean, things are just like pretty normal in this game. I think most of our occupation, like most of our brain power should be spent on trying to increase our science. I think that's a pretty natural thing that we want to be doing. Uh, my people will settle where they please, Canada. And the vast majority of the plan is going to be building the giga capital using trade routes uh, and neighborhoods to get insane housing. There's a plus two housing right there. We also have class struggle, so we can plug in communism. Now, how this is going to work is for every pop of the capital, we're going to get 0 0.6 production. And we're also going to get a 10% science boost. But we're also going to make use of some very useful cards here. Uh, where we definitely want the five-year plan because it's 50 production and 25 science. We also really want collectivization that's 48 food and 24 production eventually centralizing all of that in the capital i would like to play colonial taxes here because it makes my colonies quite a bit better um and then levy on mass is fine veterancy is fine i could make use of logistics it would allow me to move my units around well yeah logistics would allow me to move my builders around slightly more efficiently um, economic union is fine i think liberalism is actually really good here that's 16 amenities that's like hard to pass up 16 amenities it's so many compared to 52 gold oh, is the gold better i don't know i don't know if the gold is better the gold might be better i'll take the amenities because amenities scale my whole empire um, so we're taking a look at the capital right we have the neighborhood completed and we're going to want to basically just keep a big old surplus of food we don't want the food market what we'll need in this capital is amenities but i think it would be good for us to get the royal society because we want to be able to fill the builders into spaceports um, and we really want high production high food internal trade routes so galalo that's a nine food trade route right there like think of the level of growth we're going to be getting here an eight food trade route to rudy um, i think we might even be able to buy another trader or we've got a trader hanging around somewhere that just hasn't taken its turn um, but we have a surplus food in this capital uh, of 81 yeah we need to we need to start building a lot of neighborhoods now just keep in mind this is going to start scaling up the production of the city to an insane degree um, and what we're going to do is start laying down forests everywhere in here just everywhere because the goal is to try to increase the appeal and by increasing the appeal of the city we'll be able to plant down more neighborhoods the neighborhoods will give us more housing uh, we definitely want to unlock capitalism it's a little bit backwards that we're like we're communists but we want capitalism but we want the shopping mall because it's worth two amenities in that city we would also really like to get the entertainment complex in here that's going to be a process that we'll have to work towards uh michael frieda just got our little archaeologist i'll take a matthias corvinus artifact and then looking at this city there's like not much that i can do here so i reckon we just start doing campus research grants and then when we're ready we'll just switch over to the chemistry building the um research lab but most of my stuff is just focused on generating science i'm going to move this trade route to the capital all traders go to the capital now that is just the way things are done lumber mill there we definitely want to clear this let me grab that archaeologist and i want you to grab that yeah just keep planting a little farm here feels nice i also i'll put a little farm there let that city grow a bit more still got a whole bunch of settlers heading out east um, we could chop here. I think I will chop to get the grove and then we'll go for the sanctuary. Definitely still need a lot of builders. No point putting lumber mills there. I think the lumber mills here though totally makes sense. So we'll start planting those forests. I'll just put you on auto explore because I don't feel like micromanaging you. I'll do the same with this ironclad. Uh, you could definitely clear that. Perfect. We cleared a barb camp. And I think most of these units can just be fortified now. I think we've secured the, the quote unquote new world. Uh, we did it. Mission accomplished. Uh, the city of Dan could have maybe used a lumber mill on that tile. But there's just something about Civ. Why, why is Civ so fun to play? I really just don't get it. Uh, we are dealing with a little bit of permanent flooding. Um, and we don't have... We don't have computers yet. So we're just going to let the flooding happen. We do have like a decent amount of coastal stuff. But we're going to just live with that. I think. I think we're just better off living with it. We've got the Hans, Hansa in Joe Wigan Ostigan. Let's grab that workshop. Sambath Vong. Well, maybe it would be better if it was like food production folk because a five production is big. Up to 120 production in the capital that will continue to scale up as time goes on. Plant woods, lumber mill. This is not a choppable forest, so it's all happening. Getting that quality up. Pop in here, drop the woods. Oh, yeah. We're looking at really nice tiles in this area. This is like what we like to see. 
Somehow my culture has still hired my signs. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how I managed that, but you know, I'm not going to question it. A significant blizzard. There's chemistry as well. Okay, let's start ripping up these mines. So we want the appeal to go up a little bit in this area. So lumber mill there, lumber mill there. We definitely want to get that antiquity site. Let me go ahead and quickly rip up that antiquity site. Yoink. And make sure we take all these tiles. Okay, perfect. Why don't you go ahead and get me another plus four housing market there? Or neighborhood rather. It's exactly what we want. Uh, so we have finished chemistry. Let's grab oil and then we'll go for rocketry. We start doing the rocketry stuff. We'll start building our research labs in all the cities that it makes sense to do in. Let's pop down that campus there. It'll take a little bit of time. Um, don't think, I, oh, I do have access to canals now. I think I would prefer to get the campus first. You know what? Let's just build a canal. It's more fun. It's the fun thing to do. Uh, I'll take a Ludwig artifact. I should be pretty close to theming. A little lumber mill there. And you are going to put a little woods there. You could do with a second Cahokia mount. So I'll pop one right there. That'll get you those extra amenities. I'll put a little lumber mill there. And mostly I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about the situation that we're in. Generally. Um, so I kind of want to see what happens after I capture this location and then I can kind of maybe, ooh, maybe I should settle there. Yeah, that looks like a good spot. I'm just really enjoying the process of like settling a whole bunch of stuff on this continent. Okay, there's refining. We are getting a little bit of damage to our snowy areas down here. It's not a big deal. We already do. Are, we're making 12 oil per turn, which is insane. Uh, where we're doing campus research grants, we should totally go through our empire and make sure that we prioritize research labs where available. Yes, yeah, so we got the research lab going in there. Like we're still working at the campus. You don't have anything. So it's just a process of like clicking through our cities until we see the research lab available, like right there in the capital or right here. In Lucas, I could just buy the research lab at this city so I can keep producing, keep producing, mass producing builders from here because I think that is the correct play. University going up. Here's the research lab. And then there's another research lab. You're building a settler. Get that research lab first. Uh, you've got a sanctuary going. Let's go chop that sanctuary through. Plant a little woods there. Start ripping up all these farms. Let's plant a little city right here. So we've just claimed a whole bunch of land. I think we should plant another one like there. Maybe on the coal. On the coal feels kind of interesting. It's got like a certain je ne sais quoi, as they say in bonjour. Um, yeah, let's do on the coal. <laughs> I don't know what I, I don't know what I just said. Sometimes I just say shit, dude. And like, I didn't even really think about it. But good God, what did I, what did I even just say? <laughs> Jesus. I'm European. I'm allowed to make fun of the French, okay? Technically European. Even though I live... I feel like Ireland has like this island mentality, you know? Like we, we just... We see ourselves as separate. As people of... People of... People of the water. We are the water people. Yeah, I think we will settle on this tile. This guy. We are the water people. The water bears? Ooh. All right, we stole gold. Loving it. We got capitalism. Hey, who wants communism with a side of capitalism? Uh, let's go ahead and buy that shopping mall. Then... I guess I could just buy these things and then this city can focus on leveling up its neighborhoods and then it would be kind of cool if we could plug in the neighborhood card you know what i'm saying Do you know you're picking up what i'm putting down are you picking up what i'm putting down i'd like to delete the city of gao it's just like annoying me yeah a little forest here harvest that bad boy we get a little we get a little we get a little harvesting going do a little, we do a little harvesting. Now, taking a look at this bad boy, we could go for the nuclear program. This would be nice to get science foundations. I will go ahead and plug in nuclear program. And then we're going to go ahead and head towards the national professional sports because we get that lovely ski resort as well as the stadium and the Estadio de Maracana. If we can get the Estadio Maracana, not Maracana, that's, that would be Spanish. It's Port, it's Portuguese, um, I believe. So we can, we can, we can maybe, you know, we can make it, we can, listen guys, we can make it work. We're going to go ahead and siphon funds from here again, Mascatu. A little bit different from Mascarpone. Uh, I'm just, I'm on a roll today, baby. Uh, monument, Watermill Granary. Let's get it going. Uh, governor title, we uh, would like uh, to make friends with Reina. It's kind of a cool, cool place to live. Uh, what if we did a little, uh, a little chop there? Oh, I chopped the wrong place. Not good. What are you doing? You're chopping here to finish that sanctuary. Lovely. Oh, you love, look at these beautiful, beautiful sanctuaries. You love to see it. Now that, is a very beautiful set of tiles. This is the kind of stuff I like to do in my spare time. Uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a little old stock extanja. No, 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 no. Go ahead and get me 
builders. I'm going to need a lot of builders throughout the course of this game. And you really don't need to do anything but get me builders because you're already generating gold. You're generating a ton of other yields. So fantastic. Maybe you could get me a, a, a campus when you hit seven population. But we'll figure that out when the time comes. Okay, you've unlocked radio, giving us access to aluminium, which is a resource that is very useful for science victory. We're generating two per turn. We have found another source over here. We definitely want to get that online. I'm going to try to find the closest builder, which is you. You're in the process of like repairing a bunch of stuff, but the aluminium is actually way more important. And in fact, it's so important that we want to keep an eye out for more of it in the new world, because the more aluminium we can get, the better we can do our space victory. So research lab is going online in here. You just finished the campus. Excellent. Now we just need to try to generate as much science as possible. We're generating science quite slowly, I might add. Boom, boom, boom. I think we settled the copper here. It's a weird little settlement, but it does the job. Um, plant woods, we'll put a lumber mill there, you're planting woods, you're planting woods, you're planting a lumber mill. Awesome. Uh, that trade route needs to, I need to repair a district so that trade route can be useful. The population of the city is practically like just skyrocketing at a terrifying pace. Um, it's really fun. It's really cool. There's plus one error score. It's kind of an interesting move. We do have science foundations. I am going to plug in science foundations because it's a really good, great, great person generation card. Would I rather have amenities? No, I think I'm happy with the cards I have plugged in. We do lose a lot of happiness there, which I'm, I'm kind of okay with. I'm, I'm, I'm going to live with that. I think we want to plant neighborhoods on the deserts because those tiles aren't as useful as other tiles. And the appeal in this city is starting to look like more reasonable. It's still quite low, which is a little surprising. Um, but we will get it there. We'll get it to the end. We've got the stock exchange in York. Let's go for the research lab. We are burning a lot of coal now, I think. Not all my cities are powered, but we are burning a lot of coal, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and put a little forest in there. You do a little lumber mill. Wilfred Lauclier won that. Not that we cared. Um, let's go ahead and buy all those luxuries. That's going to help us out with our amenity situation. Uh, we will sell off all of our luxuries too, because we can make serious bank from that. We got so much spare, uh, and that's really just going to help fill our coffers. We're not using oil for anything, so we can sell off that oil, uh, make a serious amount of cash from the oil. I like just every now and again, I have a sell turn, and that's kind of a fun little market interaction. We could sell off our coal. We're not burning that much of it yet. Feels pretty safe to deplete our coal reserves. Um, how about aluminium? People will be probably willing to spend top diddly dollary do, which is uh, Australian currency, if you didn't know, for all of this beautiful stuff that we have to sell. Yeah, look at that. Oh, over a thousand gold, making 627 from deals. Oh, oh, look at that list. Now that's a spicy meet the ball. A little bit of lumber mill right there. You want a, you wanted a lumber mill from me? I'm feeling a little tsundara. Oh, there's a in camp. Barbarian encampment over there. That's kind of scary. We, 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 whatever. Listen, we'll, we'll worry about that on another day. I think producing units for cheaper with production is the usual play. I would like 100% production towards uh, none of these things. I don't care. Like, whatever. Uh, more nukes. Let's make the world more nuclear. Sure. See how people feel about that. Introducing nuclear weapons to the world. So the Manhattan Project is slower to complete. Units are cheaper to buy with gold. Uh, Julius Caesar gained some Diplo points and the World's Fair passed. So the World's Fair is just generating great people points, which is something we do relatively okay. We're not amazing at it, but we, we do all right. Uh, we got the lighthouse in Cthulhu's mom. Where are we going to put this science district? Oh, no, let's quickly squeak out a builder. We, we, you know, we, we, we can make use of a builder there. Um, you squeak out a university. You've got a trade route that isn't being activated. We want to delete this. Do I want to keep the Cahokia amount? All right, settle the city. Skadoosh, there's Hanover. Hanover, Bremen, and Schwechen. The three cities that we have settled. Monument, Granary Watermill. Just keep those cities busy. Yeah, keep blasting these kids. Get them out of here. There's the aluminium that we were hoping for. Nanotechnology has been boosted. We are about to start rocketry in the capital. We've got to find a spot for that. Probably best to put it adjacent to the diplomatic quarter because the diplomatic quarter provides anti-spy uh, defense. It's quite useful. There's rocketry. And we also got professional sports, which is exciting. Let's plant down our good old friend, the spaceport, right there on that Cahokia map. We do have negative amenities in the capital, which is a 10% happiness debuff. Something to consider. We definitely want sports media. We definitely want like more amenities. Okay, let's go into science mode. Have a little look. What I really meant was like this district view mode. Um, and what we really want to do is we want to find somewhere that we can put an entertainment complex. I'm thinking right here near the capital to provide amenities. So yeah, while I would prefer to be making builders right now, 
we will go for that entertainment complex. Uh, let's keep working on rocketry. I would like to unlock nuclear uranium stuff. The spaceport is coming in 12 turns, so we're not in like a huge rush to get everything done. It would be nice to get containment. It's going to be a useful policy card. Ooh, Melita Bents. It looks like all the great scientists are gone. At least we can get an extra trade route capacity, which is, you know, not bad. Boom. Um, and we will continue to trade internally. Every trade route that we get is a nice thing for the capital. Keep pushing that, that population. We're already up to 16 pop. We're, you know, we're taking some negatives. It's fine. Uh, what were you doing here? I guess I should go around and plant down as many of those ski resorts as humanly possible. I think that's going to be an important part of our play. How's the science victory looking? Oh, Canada is winning. Oh, Canada has won. It's Ogre. Unless I kill him. Begin Operation Mass Tank. Switch all production to military. I need military engineers. I need to begin the greatest railroad in human history. Lucas, stop everything you're doing. We're about to embark on the most epic quest in civilization history. First things first, where is the military engineer? Did I never unlock it? Am I, am I stupid? Am I blind? I never built an armory. Okay, good talk. Military Academy, purchase. Here's what we want to do. We want to spend all our iron. How do we spend all our iron? Well, we gold purchase cuirassier armies. We delay combustion a couple turns. We buy a cuirassier core. Now we spent all our iron. Then we can buy heavy chariots en masse. In the new world, we'll do something similar with bombards, maybe. Uh, how much oil we got? We got a lot of oil. And the idea here is it's way cheaper to upgrade heavy chariots into tanks than it is to do anything else. So we can just maximize how many chariots we get on the front line. It'll be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and denounce Canada. It's our best chance at victory here. Gather up the military. We've got to take on St. John and then look to see where Canada's capital is. Um, we're going to need to get artillery up here too. Tanks alone will not do it. Let's start selling stuff. Sell everything. Only thing that matters is raw gold to get artillery. Step you out of the city. We'll go ahead and buy artillery. We also want an observation balloon. There we go. So this guy's now three range. He can hit the city outside of its own range. Step one. Step two is to find Canada's homeland. Um, I don't have a unit that can do that right now, but we'll make it work. You still need to build a spaceport, I think, because we need you to make the thing. You, on the other hand, though, you can start heavy chariot armies, which will use up all of our iron at appropriate intervals. And then we can use that to use the gold purchasing cheapness to... Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe there's a way out of, out of losing this game. I was having such a good time. Having a good time. I don't want to stop at all. Uh, let's escape on foot in Niani. That's fine. A lot of flooding happening. Come back over to the city of Lucas. And then we're going to switch over to producing a cuirassier. So that we use up that iron. Just generally send these cuirassiers to the front line. So we know Canada is like here. Let's start getting those artilleries. Buy an artillery every turn. Settle this city. Get all of these cavalry units in range of the city. And I'm thinking one more round of like purchasing heavy cavalry. And I think we will have secured enough tank tankage to press on. Awesome. Uh, monument, granary, watermill. Canada is honestly winning the game a lot sooner than I usually expect the AI. So I'm quite impressed by their capability here. Um, we need to ignore things like St. John. We need to go straight for the throat. So I think let's get started on combustion. And next turn, we will purchase out our government and start changing things around. We might even switch. We might even do a fascism switch here. No, I think we stay in communism because it's kind of a fun build. Let's get that stadium going. Nice bunch of ski resorts giving us amenities. Now, the nice thing about ski resorts is they give you amenities, but they also give you just a little shred of tourism. Not much, but a little bit. We're actually generating a decent amount of tourism, considering the fact that we have not gone for any tourism this game. Not like actively, at least. Rather, let me rephrase that. It wasn't a central part of our strategy to go for tourism. Okay, most of the Rassiers are in position, eh? 50 turns to kill Canada. Do you think we can do it? I think we can do it. Um, combustion into combined arms. We can maybe get started on the nuclear device stuff, even though that's half speed. Um, we will make it work. I've kind of gone back and forth on whether or not I care about winning this game. And now I'm in the mode of like, I want to win. <laughs> I've invested so much time and energy into this game in particular. That like to lose at this point would be annoying. I really want a supply convoy. So what we're going to do is continue to defend that. We're going to come in here. We definitely want levy on mass. We don't need veterancy anymore. What we do need is we need forced modernization. This is to make it cheaper to upgrade our units. We need to get as much gold as possible. So collectivization could go the way of the dodo. Um, I think five-year plan isn't as important as economic thingy. We need as much gold as we can get. Science Foundation isn't as important as maybe something else. I don't know. Collectivization is just so good for our capital. But if we plug in lightning warfare, we can actually produce tanks at a reasonable rate. Yeah, I'm okay with all of this. I'm kind of okay with this setup. Maybe public works could go. 
we're not building builders so it would be better to plug in like triangular trade and get a bunch of gold from our trade routes then maybe it would be awesome to get more resources five-year plan is good okay so we got a few things that we want to do first of all we need to start start making the tanks so you go there you become a tank you go there artillery move you go here become a tank you become a tank so there's some serious tank potential already happening here you're stepping in the water to find canada's homeland you guys are advancing they are only level one artilleries but that's not important to me there's ling shopping uh you go to there you go to here combine together you form a sorry no you upgrade to a tank you consume that tank's soul you become a tank as well you come in here and become a tank right so there's some more combines uh, you come here all right the chariot swarm of tanks is on the way now here's the thing these tanks could be entirely too late to make a difference here but i'm gonna make the effort right you should always make an effort to win in my opinion now i mean honestly the correct way for me to try to win probably would have been to go domination like a long time ago should have done like a tank timing push on this guy killed him blah blah blah, blah. instead i went for this like weird settling build but here's the thing i've had a great time in this game regardless of like what wacky way i decided to try to win so at the end of the day Am I really losing if I lose the game? I don't think so. I think I'm a winner. And that's not just copium, okay? I don't want to see any copiums in the in the in the in the comments. If I see even one copium in there, by Jove, I'll be uh, moderately uh perturbed. All right, let's keep the tanks rolling down the line makes me lonely. Um okay, so we gotta do a little bit of a whiffle. A whiffle whiffle. Big tanks. Rolling down the line makes me lonely. I need supply convoys to make my units move quick over to Canada. I think we found Canada. We did. So the invasion is going to be an interesting moment here. Uh, let's go ahead and get nuclear fusion. Big train. Social media, that's a beautiful day. The hell am I doing? I ask myself that all the time and I have yet to come up with an answer. Truthfully, what in tarnation? You become a tank, you move there, become a tank, artillery on the move, you can't become a tank. Wow, that's a thousand two hundred and something gold. Quite expensive to make tanks, it turns out. Good job, Lucas, you built me a tank. Sent it to the front line. Um, Lucas, why don't you go ahead and produce tank armies every nine turns maybe it'd be better if you just produce tanks or like two more military engineers so that we can start railroading across the continent and we got the lighthouse in kevin kevin's got a lighthouse kevin's got a lighthouse a lovely lovely lighthouse little seaside our ski resort not seaside resort yeah it's a it's a ski side resort more like skeet skeet I don't think I would want to go to a skeet resort. I just, something tells me that ain't my cup of tea. All right, let's go ahead and get a little water park in here. Again, a lot of the stuff that we're building is just super does not matter um, for the long-term integrity of the game. Escape with a vehicle. You successfully escaped with money. Good job. Little lumber mill there. So Sweden would give us open borders, which gives us a better angle to maybe have a little scout. Who's this? That's this guy who does not hate me. And so I can get open borders. So we might be able to invade Canada through Rome, possibly. Kind of like trying to scout out the best invasion paths, get as much knowledge on Canada as possible. It looks like Canada is at war with the Cree, but the Cree hates me. Who could be my ally in this war? Australia. How do you like a friendship? No, he doesn't want a friendship. Okay. Um, embassy, though. And if I do mutual open borders, and if I send him a gift of like 100 gold... That should get him to be friendly enough to consider a friendship next turn. Um, he just has to reassess his diplomatic sensibilities. Yes, Australia has decided to be friends. Good guy, Australia. For once, John Curtin has not been a thorn in my side. And now we can get a military alliance with John Curtin. And then we might be able to get him to declare a joint war. And he would go for it, which would make our lives pretty easy here. And he's not too far away from Canada, so he might be able to bring in some support. Ooh, potential invasion vector through the north here that's a big old deal all righty let's go ahead upgrade you to a tank you consume his soul we'd love to upgrade you to a tank we are turning you into a tank army eventually you guys are coming in as support units uh, we do have a supply convoy which is handy mine handy i don't know why but like the fact that germans call um phones handies is like 
just the funniest thing ever. I just, it'll never, it'll never not be funny. Are there any other, hey, let me know. Are there any other like funny, like little words in your language? Like, doesn't matter which one it is. Tell me the silly things that you guys do in your native tongue, okay? Oh man, nuclear subs, better than nuclear dubs. I make that joke literally every time I see a submarine. <laughs> it's just, it's one of those, it's, a, it's like a default dialogue option. It's like, you know, when you walk past an NPC and they greet you and they're like, oh, winds are changing this season. And like, and, but they say that every time you walk past them, sky's dark lately. And it's just like, <laughs> it's, it's always like ominous ambience, default conversational topic. Um, <laughs> I just realized I'm an NPC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a terrible realization to come to in the depth of a YouTube series. It would be nice to be suzerain of more shit, to be honest with you. Ooh, Geneva. I think we want to be friends with Geneva. That's a lot of science right there. It's like 40 science. It's like a 44 science per turn. No. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get ourselves a little cocky amount. All right, come on. Give me a good scout here. Ooh, we can get right into the depth of his empire. Oh, yeah, this is serious positioning now with Rome on our side. Rome is denouncing me, so I have a limited amount of time to make use of that, unfortunately. Um, he will eventually close his borders to us, but if we can get a foothold on the seaside, we can make it work. We have completed the spaceport, we're going to go ahead and launch the Earth satellite, and the goal with the Earth satellite is to reveal the map so that we can make more ta better tactical decisions when we're trying to take out their, culture, their, their, their science victory here. No one else is winning a science victory. He has travelled quite a bit of distance, he hasn't quite filled the bar. Um, so we are, we, I would say we're not exactly up against the limit yet. Uh, my capital is making 80 science per turn, which is a massive amount of science, by the way. Um, we definitely need more gold. I also think it would be good for me to get an aerodrome here. I'm going to pop down aerodromes. I'd like to get airports so that I can transport units to the front line. Um, it would be sick as hell if we could figure out, maybe we'll go for an airport in Florian Garber. Would really love to get a builder over there. May have to buy a builder with gold, which is very expensive, but... If I do aerodrome and then chop it out, we could make something happen here. This is honestly a point in the game where I wish I hadn't gone for Warlord's Throne when I was doing the settling. My game was just really confused and lacked direction. I kind of just made a whole bunch of random decisions, but it has created a really interesting narrative. So Johanna, we want to send this to a Canadian city, ideally one that we won't be conquering, probably like St. John. And we want to do gain, uh, we want to do listening posts in here because this is a level three spy they should give me plus two diplomatic visibility on canada plus two diplomatic visibility on canada will be enough to um get plus six combat strength against canada which will make a massive difference when it comes to our warfare because every level of diplomatic visibility you get plus three combat strength against a player spies give a baseline of plus one diplomatic visibility when they're sent on observation missions and they give plus two if they are at least a level two spy so quite powerful now to put in perspective, a plus six combat strength bonus is like having three units flanking. Very, very powerful. Category four hurricanes just appearing. Everyone is getting a little bit worried about the size of my army and the fact that I have units marching near their borders, but they don't realize that Canada is my target. Um, right, so first set of artillery is getting into position. I've got my field cannon in, in position to, su to succeed, to support, is what I was looking for. That's the word. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, you guys are doing work. Okay, go there, chop. We would like to buy more artillery to keep supporting. Would love more aerodromes to get bombers. It's going to be a useful thing for me to unlock after nuclear fission to go for advanced flight. We do have uranium. So nukes are on the cards here. Let's get some builders to send to the new world. We've got the stadium popping out here. That's fantastic. I think Estadio is gone or else we just can't build it here. It's probably just gone. Um, the amenities are helping. What are you doing to help my empire right now? I think the obvious thing would be to get an aerodrome because um, the more aerodromes we have, the more air units we can produce and the more units we can airlift to the front line when we get more aerodromes. My economy is becoming like ultra late game, which is kind of an exciting place to be uh, because it's rare that I get to play, like it's usually I've won the game by now. So it's rare that I get to play around with these like late game scenarios and I get to explore possibilities and see what like works. But I do know what should work is if I declare the war in the next two to three turns, we would, we would fail. What we really need are those airplanes to support this. Okay, nice. We got nuclear fission. The Manhattan project is about to finish. 
um, or sorry, the Earth satellite is about to finish. Then we can start the Manhattan Project. We will go for that Manhattan Project. I think it's worth it to do it in the capital because the capital does so much production. Um, it can get it done really fast. We've got railroads to the coastline. Now we want a railroad going through these two tiles to make the transition faster. And then we want a railroad that starts like here and runs the entire length of the continent so that re units can reinforce over the um, over the things. It would be nice to get an aircraft carrier here. I think I will... I would like to buy one, but I have a hard time justifying that when I would be just better off buying artillery to center the front line. I am starting to burn most of my oil. Let's chop here. That's most of the aerodrome done. We should totally plug in the builder card if we're going to be producing builders. Although, again, at this point, I don't care about the inefficiency of producing builders. I think I'm happy with the way things are. Whoa, that is actually huge. I didn't know there was a giant causeway in this game. Um, but we did just finish the Earth satellite, which has revealed the map. So we know where Canada is. Now, here's what we want to do. We want to do a map search for spaceport, space, uh, as in like space on the keyboard, and then Canada. And then we can pinpoint all of Canada's spaceports... Okay, so there's one here. And these are the things we need to destroy to prevent Canada from winning the game. Okay. Um, Kingston absolutely needs to be raised for me to be able to get a foothold on this continent. I wish I could release it as an independent city. That'd be based. Based on what? Um, go here. Absorb, absorb his soul. But we really don't want units to end in the water adjacent to these um, districts. So we have a nice flow of units. I think we can safely declare the war now and start causing problems for Canada. So we're going to talk to John Curtin. Um, you don't want a joint war? Oh, he's already at war with Wilfred. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and do a formal war. So that'll hurt like a, a little bit of my income because I was stealing a lot of stuff from Canada. Let's sell off spare luxuries like so. Let's make sure we purchase luxuries as well. You've got spare jeans. Uh, but good to sell off our coal and our aluminium. Yeah. Sell off those strategics. Awesome. Keep that gold flowing. Ah, he was allied to Rome. So it kicked me out of Rome's territory into... Oh, that's weird. Um, well, there's a spaceport here that I'd like to kill. Well, this was not the thing I wanted it to do. But we can begin the process of obliterating Canada's borders. Um, and maybe getting some stuff going there. Wait, so who am I at war with? I'm at war with the Mayan Empire. I'm at war with Canada and Rome. I really don't want to kill the Mayan Empire. I think, you know, I, I will if I have to, but I don't want to. I'm hoping we can just defend him off with a little bit of, you know, fobbing. Fob him off. All right, let's take a little detour and keep on keeping on. Your job was to do a little bit of chopping because you want this aerodrome. And specifically, we want this aerodrome so that we can build an airport and airlift units over to this side of the continent. Um, but when it comes to cities like Lucas, I think I'm going to stop producing builders. Instead, I'm going to start producing like tank armies and artillery armies to start pushing. Yeah, these districts are very strong. So we might have to just try to run down and pillage these campuses. It depends on how hard his cities hit. If his cities hit really, really hard, it'll be scary. Damn, that artillery just got murked. Not good. I was hoping that I could make use of Rome's positioning inside Rome um, to make something happen here. But uh, we just lost our first artillery army, which is not good, obviously. Like I said, this war wouldn't go well if we declared it too soon. Kree is standing on that tile that I really need to kill. We can get some serious work done, though, by pillaging the hell out of the city. It's quite nice. There's advanced flight. He's got giant death robots. It's a little scary. Right, we got our aerodrome in Rudy. Let's get started on hangars and stuff. We could buy those hangars. There is a pathway through here with a for an aircraft carrier. Um, let's go ahead and buy ourselves an aircraft carrier. And then we would like to buy bombers. So there's one bomber and there's two bombers. And we want to get these bombers transported over into this aircraft carrier to act as air support. And then we would like two fighters, ideally. So it's going to take a little bit of gold to build up to that point. Uh, we definitely want to unlock jet fighters. So let's get started on jet fighters. Those are going to be useful. All right. We need to keep on pillaging to make this war effort way more successful. Um, so just lots and lots of pillaging needs to be going down to make this viable. Let's buy this uranium. Manhattan Project is well underway. We're beginning the rebasing of bombers to the east. It's going to be a little bit of a slow process. 
because they can only transfer 20 tile range, I believe it is. So it'll take us a few turns to get over here, but once we do get there, um, we'll be able to bring aircraft carriers into support. Right, let's hit this spaceport. Boom. Um, that's one spaceport down. We need to get down to these other spaceports if we can. That one here. How fast are they going? Three light years per turn. I'm pretty sure when you kill the spaceports, their projects get paused. So that's the goal here. Um, you need to find somewhere you can heal safely. There's not really a safe tile. Kind of could go there. Yeah, that really... This, this empire is just so densely packed with danger. I'll kill this traitor. I mean, we're making a lot of money from this war. All right, we're losing a few tanks here. But we are in a position to pillage this spaceport. We just need to get this one as well, if we can. Might be able to make that work. Let's have a look. Okay, we're on it. We're beside it. We could potentially pause. He's going four light years per turn. Get on it. I don't even know if this works. I've never been in this position in the game before. Oh, giant death robots could be fun. Let's go for those. So I'm not even really sure what works to stop someone once they've started a science victory. But we're going to find out. Right, let's do a listening post. That'll be plus six combat strength against Canada. That'll help us clear up his BS. Maybe it'll make a difference. Who knows? The world has entered into the information era. Plus one era score. Social media. All right, pillage this spaceport. And I'm hoping that, that buys us time. Let's do another search for Canadian spaceports. One, two, three, four. I've pillaged all four of his spaceports. Now, he might have repaired this one. Ooh, giant death robot. Yoink. Let's send him out. Aw, uh, near future governance. Sure, keep making me money. Shipyards, seaports, whatever. How did you feel about this game, guys? How did you feel about this game? You know? What were your thoughts? Was this a, was this an interesting game? More interesting than ones where I just like dominated and win? Was it interesting to watch me kind of flail about and and see uh, what it looks like when I'm not, you know, I'm not on top of my game. When I'm trying out some new stuff and we're, we're learning new limits, so to speak. Our aircraft carrier is almost in range to start supporting the war. Although, it's, like I said, right, if we initiate this war, we 100% were going to lose it, like I said, right? But here's the thing. Did we have a choice but to start this war and try to break his spaceports to try to buy more time? I don't think we did. I think we kind of had to do what we did. Um, and it is what it is. We're doing a little science right now to figure out, you know, what the, what the story is. We've lost all of our tanks. Canada is still traveling four light years per turn. I think this is just a, a case of like me fucking around and finding out. Um, I th I reckon if I hadn't if I had focused on sciencing up and dominating instead of going for this weird like extra continent settle that I went for, um, it would have been fine. If I had had a slightly easier early game where I didn't have to go for like mega war, I think it would have been fine. I think if I had pulled back, if I hadn't gone so hard on the war with Maya, it would have been a better game. I think I made a lot of mistakes this game, and it was very close to a game where we could snowball it out of control. I definitely don't think this is an unwinnable game. I played quite poorly, to be honest with you. But this game was specifically set up to be difficult. So I don't mind losing a game that I set up to be hard. You know what I mean? Because look, look how cramped these empires are. Like we have half of the world's landmass. We have all of the world's empires occupying half of the world's landmass, right? That's, that's going to naturally just make the game harder. There's less room, there's less space. Um, you're very much so constrained. You have less expansion room. You have less capability, you meet less city-states, um, you get into more wars, you have to defend yourself, production is wasted, you know, just a lot of a lot of stuff there causes this particular game setup to be just quite difficult. Like, I'm pretty sure if I bought, like, a death robot per turn from now on, I just, I don't think they would even reach uh, Canada's empire before they won. It's kind of unfortunate. So I'm just shift entering until Canada wins, because I want to get, I want I want to see the defeat screen. That's what I want. I want to see the defeat screen. It doesn't count unless it's official. And there it is. The defeat screen. I reckon... I reckon there are several moments throughout this game where there was a pathway to victory, but I think we basically went down every single, like, laneway that led to defeat, if you know what I mean. Um, but this was a very interesting and fun game. It was very engaging in the early game. Like, look at the number of units I killed this game. Look at the amount of combats uh, I participated in. It was insane. It was ridiculous. Like, I was basically in combat for the first 150 turns, like, 180 turns of the game, actually. Uh, which is a ridiculous amount of time gameplay to be spent on fighting. But it was super fun. It was super engaging. And I hope you guys had a really fun time watching this video. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I love you all very much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.